The Biden administration now says that federal law will take precedent over state law when it comes to providing mothers with abortion services if their lives are at risk. Now, yesterday, the Department of Health and Human Services told hospitals they must provide such services for emergency conditions like ectopic pregnancies and complications of pregnancy losses even in states where abortion is banned, with no exceptions. At the same time, more men are taking action themselves in the aftermath of Roe v. Wade, turning to vasectomies. The number of Google searches for the word vasectomy peaked just one day after the Supreme Court's ruling last month. And now doctors are saying that it's not just searches. More patients are asking for the procedure IRL in real life. Manuel Bojorquez is in Miami Shores with more. Manny, I'm going to be watching this very closely. Good morning. That's right. Good morning. You know, we also spoke with a doctor who said the way he found out about the Supreme Court's decision that day is by the sheer number of phone calls coming into his clinic. He said they tripled their normal volume and the number of men signing up for the procedure tripled too. I just want to get a feel for why you feel so confident that you're going to be happy with your vasectomy decision indefinitely. From his office near Tampa, urologist Doug Stein calls patients who are under 30 or do not have children to discuss whether they are 100 percent sure they want a vasectomy, a call he's now making more often. We generally see about 12 percent in our practice men who are child free. And then we generally see about 12 percent of men who are under the age of 30. But the number of both, young and child-free, nearly doubled. The two-doctor practice performs six vasectomies an hour most days. Some decisions not just made by men, but by families. 50% of our calls are from women. I just need you to plant sign data. 27-year-old Thomas Figueroa says he and his girlfriend do not want children, so getting a vasectomy was always on his mind. I've always thought about this decision. Um, the Supreme Court did push me to finally do it. The procedure, which blocks sperm from entering semen, is outpatient and takes about 10 minutes with about a two-day recovery, as opposed to a female tubal ligation, which is riskier and much more invasive. For Figueroa, this is also about easing the burden on women who have had their constitutional right to abortion taken away, and for those who feel restrictions on birth control could come next. I feel for a lot of men, especially for myself, that this is a way where they're trying to protect their girlfriends, they're trying to protect their partners, they're trying to protect their future partners. In Houston, Jordan Castro's post about getting a vasectomy went viral. He did it last fall after Texas passed a law banning abortion after about six weeks of fertilization. Really try to put yourself in, uh, in a woman's shoes. I really think I should, I should uh, take that into account and just take a little bit more responsibility. And while vasectomies are reversible, not all reversals are successful. All right, very good. Do you, do you have any pain? That's something Dr. Stein stresses to his growing number of patients. And do you see this as a trend that will continue or just kind of a spike? I think that maybe where the spike is over and we're tapering down a little bit, but I think we haven't tapered back down to pre-row overturn numbers. In fact, he says they are booked through August, and that's as far in advance as they've ever been booked before. Vlad? All right, Manny, thank you very much. Uh, a lot of cringing in the studio. We all had a reaction to that yeah. shot. Well, I didn't I realize that you it. would be awake while the procedure is actually happening. That's, I thought you'd go under the knife, even though it's only 10, uh, under the, you know, to sleep, even though it's only 10 minutes, but. No, you know, Nate has talked about having a vasectomy, so I'm not telling tales out of school. He compared it to cutting off his sprinkler system, yeah, <laughs> which, I, which I thought was a really good way to say it. And he said that when he went in for the procedure for a consultation, he ended up getting it that same day because it was so simple. Mm. So the laws must be different in New Jersey because I've been, I talked to Nate about it, I talked to other friends about it, uh, and I, I, there's a waiting uh, period in New York. You have to wait 30 days and then have to get it within a, a six-month window. It's easier to buy a gun than it is to get a vasectomy yeah. in, in New York State. But my two questions were going into it, is the fun stuff still fun? And the doctor was like, yeah, confirmed. <laughs> 
<laughs> what's, then, what's the fun stuff? Yeah, tell I us about that. At this tender hour. <laughs> and then, okay, and, and they said yes. And okay. they said yes. The yes. fun stuff is still we'll rock and roll. Yeah. And then, and, and like your inner caveman, does he still feel like he's there? Like uh -huh. you still feel a little sense of virility? This is a real thing for guys. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and Nate says yes, and other friends I've talked to have said yes. So I'm all in. If there were for the waiting period, I'd do it today also. You would. Yeah, if you they had like a out. mobile van outside right now, why don't they have <laughs> the mobile van? The mobile van. You would. You would van? do it. Totally. <laughs> I don't know. It was interesting to see all the men in the studio cringe. Maxie goes, how come he's not knocked out? I, I'm surprised that he's just looking at it. I know. That was the weird that, thing because the, the shot like, of the camera was like, <laughs> he's like this. He's like, okay, what's going on down there? <laughs> so it's not pain. I guess it's not that painful either. Oh, boy. Right? I don't know. <laughs> we I'm in the waiting we period. Look at Tony. I'll let you know. Klaus? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let me Cricket. grab this. Uh, but, but it is interesting that no, more men are choosing to do this now. Yes. No small, it's that a was small thing compared to what we In the wake yes, of this decision.